How's it going, folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today I want to take a look at the ASUS Fast Dual Band USB AC 5.6. Now, I'm really impressed with the ASUS line of, well, anything when it comes to networking. Their computer equipment isn't quite as good as it used to be. The price is still awesome for all of their equipment. This cost me, I believe, 60 or $70. And every time I test a, an ASUS router, it seems to get about the same speed in AC as any of my AX routers do. So I have high hopes for these things. I have, uh, I imagine these things will do pretty good. So what I'm going to do is open this stuff up, get it on my local network and see if it performs just as well as my AX everything. So I have an AX router. I got a D-Link AX router. I have a TP-Link AX. I have a TP-Link AX card in my system stop run the setup before connecting this device oh you know i'm not going to do that you know i'm going to have to plug it in directly now and figure out exactly uh, how good it is Ooh, separate antenna bling bling for her pleasure and now for the best part oh yeah oh that's what i'm talking about hot mama so Excellent! You get a little blue end, all you have to do is make that uh, plastic blue and it'll all of a sudden get USB 3 speeds. Let's check these things out and see how they do. So once again, here's my battle station. On the left is my Alexandrian backup, on the right is my power station. Once again, just on the left, as you can see, here is the Asus card. Here's the Asus USB card. Card, I should call them thumb drives or something. There's my uh, main power unit. And up, right over here, just up there, is a powerful D-Link. So let's see how long it takes to move a 1.5 gigabyte file from unit to unit over the wireless with these cards. Okay, I'm getting a maximum speed of about 15 megabytes a second. That D-Link router is AX, I should mention, and uh, I was kind of expecting twice the speed, but uh, what can you say? What can you say? That's still reasonable. So I definitely love the fact that they give us these extender units, but they're only about three feet long. Man, that uh, cable is really thick, really huge. It'd be nice if it was a little bit longer, but maybe you'd be sacrificing speed. Next up, I'm going to swap out with this uh, TP-Link 150 megabits per second unit and see what the difference is going to be like. 150 megabits is equal to 18.75 megabytes. Yeah, that definitely didn't help too much, but the max that I can get off here is about 1 megabyte a second. And that's what I generally get with the N uh, brand routers. Of course, this is a G brand USB stick. So next, I'm going to switch back over to my AX and see if I can boost the speeds with that. Yeah, so once again, I moved over to AX. The thing was, um, I wasn't sure if the Alex system had USB 3.0 ports or if it would affect the speed. So um, my power system definitely has USB 3.0, and this definitely seems to be about the maximum that we can get out of it. About, uh, what was that, 15 megabytes a second. That's the maximum I can get out of these things in a reasonable setting. And now that I say that, it's dropped almost nothing. But seriously, most times I can swap at about 15 megabytes a second with these units, which isn't the worst. Actually, it's not too bad at all. Okay, so that was a full test. I can't get any better numbers than that. Let's take a look at a teardown. I managed to get into this. Lots of clips, no Phillips head screws, and we got a real tech chip in there. And uh, a heat sink that I had to take off, or a, uh, a shield, I should say. It's interesting that that alternate antenna isn't hooked up to anything we just have the one antenna hooked up but i suppose that you have the giant antenna that came with this the secondary isn't exactly the most needed thing but it's interesting to see that we could put something else in there if we wanted to let's see if i can get a good shot of exactly what real tech chip this is rl8812au yeah, you guys can see what it's got there. Anyways, it's pretty good. I gotta say, I am uh, definitely happy with this. It's not as fast as my AX units in the, on the AX band. It uh, can only get about half the speed that AX gets wirelessly. It seems like wirelessly 
AU can get 15 megabytes and AX can get just over 30 standardly not maximum standardly so in the end these things aren't bad I kind of expected them to be a little bit faster but the speed that I get off them is completely fine completely reasonable these are definitely good units I wish the cable on the USB was a little bit longer but once again these units are definitely capable and I can transport transfer 15 megabytes a second once again usable not unusable and good stuff guys good stuff i definitely recommend it anyways that's it for me ladies and gentlemen i'm now from nav's tech bits please like and subscribe if you like this stuff if i've helped you out always appreciated and as always folks take care of each other catch us later